A woman who drowned while paddleboarding at Chatfield Reservoir has been identified. Maria O'Day died Sunday. Her death was the third drowning at Chatfield this year. As Jacqueline Quinn shows us, this has been a record year at state parks for drowning deaths. The leaves say fall, but warm conditions make it very inviting to go out on the water. No matter if their child is 20 and drowned or two, it's still the same anguish. Just this weekend, a strong wind event swept through Chatfield Reservoir. A paddleboarder drowned. It's a tragic reminder for Mary Jane Smith's kids to wear their life jackets. We've actually been here during an active drowning, so they've seen it. Colorado Parks and Wildlife tells us with 32 drowning deaths so far, this year is setting a new record. You know, really kind of with COVID, we've just had a huge onslaught of people getting outdoors and, and finding refuge in the outdoors. While the circumstances vary, the latest drowning had to do with paddle boarding, something CPW says has been growing in popularity. You know, you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a boat to get out in it. Yet paddle boards are still considered a vessel. State law mandates that anyone 12 and under must wear a life jacket. Those who are older must have it on board. If you fall off and you have it on there, then there's no worry. You don't have to try to reach for that life jacket. A whistle or something that makes noise is also required. There was a guy who went on a boat and without a life jacket, and he fell off the boat. The kids we talked with have already witnessed a couple close calls. I just tried to tell them that it's you. It's very volatile. You never know what the weather's going to do, what a what a boat could do when it comes by. And it seems there can never be enough reminders. At Chatfield Reservoir, Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado first.